save my bombs for the very last boat, just the one before, just before the uh, warship area. <laughs> Hopefully, whenever I hit this, all these rock uh, bars should collapse. I don't know if it's going to work, but maybe it'll save me at least a little bit of time. I am going to continue with the whole floor breaking uh, technique that I do because it's actually quicker than individually grinding each individual freaking thing of a bobber on all these things and picking them all up. It's very, it's way faster. And just simply break the floors upon each floor and allow the walls and stuff to collapse along with them. It's, well, it's faster and more efficient that way. Let's take out a box and we're gonna start picking these pieces up and getting ready to break the next level of floors. But first, let me pick up all this stuff and just simply get ready to tear off the floors to the next uh, level and hope that all the walls fall with them. The bigger box, this uh, shouldn't actually take very long. I mean, honestly, I don't actually need, there's nothing I actually need on this floor, so technically I could go down several floors and just knock off the walls down there, and it would save me a lot of time, which is what I usually do, which is most likely what I'm going to continue to do, because it's much faster, much more efficient, and I don't have to pick up all the shite if I knock it all down. Obviously, I have to knock each wall down individually, one by one, and allow whatever to fall to fall. And as I knock this stuff off, one wall at a time, it'll get more and more unstable, so I can then therefore, uh, in a better area, it's a better spot to take advantage of all these pieces. I'm just kind of working my way across this one wall, and then I'm going to go in here and actually tear off all these other walls, too. Is 
one pro probably one game right now that I actually miss. I know I'm going to have to re-record and like start over on that game if I do. Even though it took me a hell of a long time to actually do it, but I probably would have, at least at that point, I would have my editor work on it. But before I work on a new, an actual new game series, I'm going to have my editor work on it all the streams from Xbox, the Twitch channel I have, because I have a lot of shit for him to work on if he's actually committed to helping me with it, which so far he said he is, which he's got a lot of work lined up, I know that much, but me and him have a very good agreement going, so I mean, so far he's kept his word, which is pretty good for me. I don't want to break any unnecessary bolts because I don't want the actual floor to come off. I just want the walls to come off. Watching all the memes from Helldiver recently, I feel like a lot of people are making a lot of memes on Helldivers now. Like, I feel like that's like their main thing now. All the really high levels that are like ridiculously high leveled and they're able to easily do shit. They intentionally get themselves into really sticky situations just so they can make memes out of it. And they got some really good stuff going. Like, seriously, they got good stuff going. I don't know how exactly they go about making memes, but my god, they got some good stuff out there. Like that, and some of these guys aren't high level. Some of them look like it's literally just that bad out there. Like on, I think it's Manevlin Creek or something. Apparently, that that war on that planet is literally whooping the hell divers' ass. They're all in the shitter. Theoretical shitter, obviously. Interior walls. I'm about to pick up all the exterior walls a few at a time, or all like all one after another. are coming down very efficiently and effectively. It's actually indeed getting dark, I can tell by the light. The flashlight and the exterior light that's just very slowly dimming.
<gasps> it's coming along. It's just the walls and stuff are taking a little bit longer than I want them to, to actually take all of them down and get them all, all of it picked up and put away. larger box I could pick up a lot more much quicker and now I can actually get these other boxes put away. hoping I didn't lose too much whenever I had all this fall down and some of it may or may not have fallen off the boat. I'm not sure because, well, I was inside the boat when it happened, so obviously I don't know if any of the boat parts actually fell outside of the boat. They might have, I don't know. I hope not. Try to get this patched up and cleaned up as quickly as possible so I can keep working on the boat. <laughs> Shouldn't take me too long to get this cleaned up though. <laughs> say it won't take me too long. It probably will at least take me a few minutes to get it all out, like all picked up and thrown into the truck. And then I gotta grab all those other boxes down there. This collection, one part of that contract done, that's good. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll go by at least decently fast so I can move on to the next boat as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll even go to get to the next boat within this uh, recording series. Today, even. Gears of War because my friend kind of uh, he pulled a nasty on me. I'm not gonna say what happened because it's not my place to tell. I was very upset at him. He pulled a really bad move for me. 
on me. It was a betrayal, and I'm not a boy. I wasn't exactly happy with him. I'm very disappointed in him, but I got over it. Just gonna let y'all know that I got over it. I'm done. I just wanted to get that out there. If I do stream eventually us playing it, I mean, obviously, we're gonna play the whole game at least once off stream so we know what, so he knows what to expect and all that. So that way we can handle battles and the battles themselves more efficiently and get through the games at least a little bit more professionally instead of, you know, how it normally happens, especially on hard difficulties. It's just, just running around like idiots trying to not die. Try to hide behind cover and stuff like that, which is smarter, but still. Once I get rid of that pallet box there, I'll go to get start uh, tearing apart the next tier of the boat. But obviously, I have to finish getting rid of all this stuff first. I'm also going to get rid of that engine so it doesn't impede my uh, speed work. It doesn't seem like I'm going a tad faster than normal on this boat. I've done this boat so many times, so it should be pretty obvious that I'm actually going at least a tiny bit faster. It feels like I'm getting it done faster, honestly. It really does. It feels like I'm more or less mowing through this boat a lot faster than I normally would. Obviously, I won't be able to get the final upgrade for the uh, hammer and whatnot for at least a bit because that upgrades like several thousands of dollars just for the upgrade blueprint itself and then you gotta worry about having the resources available but normally I sell all my resources after every build so I have additional money to buy bombs and stuff bombs and crates <laughs> Away so I can grab the last of these bits up here so they don't fall off or get thrown away whenever I knock off the floor. Huh. 